Let us get started. Here we are at the main part of our solar system, the sun. Now, the sun has a very special gift. It is the only planet, or should I say star, in our solar system to give off heat. Now what this heat does is it, well, heats up the other planets, mostly Venus. And I'm going to show you all the planets, including the sun. Now the sun here has sunspots. And you might never notice these whenever you're regularly looking at the sun. But whenever you're using the telescope, you can see them very clearly. Now here we are talking about the planets. First is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet ever since Pluto was named a dwarf planet. Now as you can see, I do not have Pluto here because our teacher said it was optional. <laughs> Here we are at Venus. Now Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, not counting the sun, which is a star. Um, so the reason that it is the hottest planet is because it has a very thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide and thick clouds. So what the clouds do is they trap the heat inside of the atmosphere. This is why Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Now here we are at our home planet, Earth. Now, Earth is very special because it is the only known planet in our solar system to have life on it. Now, if you were at any of the other planets, you might have to wear a spacesuit. If you were on Earth, you didn't have to at all, as long as you weren't outside of the atmosphere. And you see these little white dots? You might not be able to see them because it's right here. But um, these are called ice caps. And those are um, where the South Pole and the North Pole are. And then these are land masses. And these little brown parts, those are like grassy hills and deserts. Here we are at Mars. Now, Mars is the planet that is most like Earth, except for its size, and Earth is tilted. Now, Mars also has polar ice caps, but it has more dust storms than Earth. Here we are at Jupiter. Jupiter has a big red spot on it. As you can see, it's very big. In fact, in the real solar system, it would take three Earths to fit the red spot. The red spot is the biggest hurricane in the solar system. Here we are at my favorite planet, Saturn. Mostly my favorite planet because it has rings. Now, I only have two on display here, but did you know that Saturn has six rings? And by the way, all the gas giants have rings, not just Saturn and Uranus. Saturn go up and down. Here we are 
at the last planet of our solar system, Neptune. Now, Neptune has a very famous thing, and it's a storm. Sort of like the big red spot on Jupiter, but this is called the big dark spot. And it's a storm, just like Jupiter's. And the reason that Uranus and Neptune are blue is because of a gas called methane. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.